Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a Google survey form in four minutes. You guys, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is sign into your Google account. But if you don't have one, I will leave a link in the description. Okay, now when you sign in, you would see this waffle icon right here. Just scroll down through the apps, scroll down and you will get to forms. Now click on forms, okay? And you would be brought to this page right here. Okay, so um, over here we see the templates gallery and from the template gallery we see some pre-built designs that we could, for example, select from and perhaps just make some edits and use. But today I want us to create one from scratch. So I want us to create a blank one, okay? And to do this, head over to the plus icon right here to start a new form. Click on the plus icon. And you would be brought to a blank form, okay? And this is an untitled form. Click on untitled form. Rename the form. So let's say we want to create um, a form for an e-bike um, survey, for example. Great. You could also give the form a description. Okay. Okay. Now click on untitled question. Delete the placeholder text. And now add your own question. So um, let's see. What do I want to ask? So you went to buy an e-bike where are you most likely to go okay yeah that's a good question <laughs> okay so for this first question over here to the right i can decide if i want this to be a short answer question um a paragraph multi-choice check boxes, drop downs. There are so many options to choose from, okay? But I want this to be a multiple choice question. And what this means is that I only want the users to be able to select from available options, okay? Now I can go ahead and add these options for the user. So what are the options? Let's see. Bosch, um, e-bike, um, yeah, ghost, bike. Dot com. You guys, where do you get your e-bikes from? Um, Blue Wheel. Blue Wheel. Yeah, Blue Wheel. Blue Wheel dot com. And perhaps you could want to get this from an outlet or a physical store, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's possible. And then I could decide to make this um, question required or not. And what this means is that if it's required, for example, then it means that the users must provide an answer to this question before submitting the form. But if it's not required, then the user could decide to skip this question, for example. So let's go ahead and make this required. Yeah, okay. Okay, now let's create the second question. And to do this, go to the right-hand side. And you see, when I hover around this icon right here, the plus icon, you see it says add a question. So just click on it, okay? So click on it and yeah, we have the second question. Now let's type in the question. Okay, so this is a good question, no? What features would make you excited to use an e-bike app? Okay, and for this question now, I want the participants to be able to respond in their own words, which means it's not going to be like the first question where you have like multiple choices to select from. But in this case, I want them to express themselves. So to do this, go to the right hand side, I'm either going to make this a short answer or a paragraph, okay? And uh, yeah, I also want this to be required. So when you're done with your questions and everything else and customizing your form, and now you want to share this or send this to the users or participants, what you need to do is just go to the top right corner right here. You see the send button. Click on this button right here, okay? So we can send this via email. We can send this via links, for example. So just click on shorten the URL so I could copy this. And now I have this copied and I can send this to as many participants as I want. It's just so easy to use, you guys. And afterwards, when users have filled in the forms and you want to see the responses, there's this tab right here called responses. So just click on this. I have no responses right now. So it says zero responses. But when you've shared the link and users have answered, you would see lots of answers here, okay?